Welcome to this special edition of Futurist, dedicated to the missions that the European Union has launched to find solutions within areas that pose the biggest challenges of our time. The five missions are included in the Horizon Europe program, which will be launched in 2021. They are fighting cancer, healthy oceans, seas and inland waters, soil health and food, adaptation to climate change to become climate neutral and create smart cities. Today, we discover how to get 100 European cities carbon neutral by 2030. Hannah goshevitz waltz chair of the Climate Neutral and Smart Cities mission, explained to us why it is so important to improve the environment within cities. Cities cover about 3% of Earth and produce about 72% of global greenhouse gas emissions. So uh, the, the cities are exactly the place where they can have an impact and influence on uh, changing the, the climate uh, to make it uh, neutral because mobility, housing, uh, waste, uh, these are all these issues which can be tackled uh, and reduce the, the emission of, of gas. Our goal is mainly to support, to promote and to showcase uh, hundred uh, cities in Europe uh, and help them uh, in the transformation process towards climate neutrality. Let's now see an example of this type of program with the projects underway in Spain, Valladolid and Palencia. More than half of the world's population live in urban areas and this figure is expected to reach 80% by 2050. That's why specific actions are needed to get our metropolitan areas climate neutral in order to protect the environment and our quality of life. In Valladolid, the capital of the Spanish autonomous region of Castilla and Leon, this strategy has been implemented within the framework of the EU project Remoban, which brings together a constellation of different initiatives. This project includes two other lighthouse cities and two follower cities. We've implemented actions in areas like making buildings more energy efficient, sustainable mobility and implemented information and communication technologies. In terms of mobility, we have a charging infrastructure that has 63 charging points around the city. We have also added 45 electric vehicles to various last mile delivery fleets within the city, plus two electric buses and another three additional ones that the city council has incorporated. Thanks to this technology, it only takes six minutes to recharge the bus that can then go its full route from start to finish without stopping. This, along with a fleet of a dozen e-vehicles and recharging stations, it's changed the habits of citizens. People have largely welcomed these initiatives, especially those that go very often to the city centre, such as urban freight transport, last mile delivery and taxi workers, and those who drive into the city. In order to achieve the goals of creating low energy districts, Valladolid has realised an important retrofitting in the FASA neighbourhood. The building's facades have benefited from novel insulation. A huge solar panel has been installed on one tower and the power produced is fed into the district heating network, enabling new biomass heating systems to replace the old gas and fuel boilers. This renovation has enabled an energy saving over 30% and improved comfort levels in terms of temperature. The neighbours are getting an economic saving by reducing consumption and thanks to this payments are reduced. On the other hand, we also have the CO2 emissions saving. We can say that, thanks to this project, it's possible to save around 780 tonnes of CO2 from going into the atmosphere, which is equivalent to the annual planting of 2,500 trees. The transformation of a city into a smart model takes into account several factors, but energy is the key one in this balance. As Ruben Garcia explains, he is the coordinator of the My Smart Life project, which has been implemented in Palencia, a medium-sized city 50 kilometres away from Valladolid. 
The goal of these projects is about working on the sustainability and the resilience of the cities. Our cities are obviously a very large energy consumer. Most of us live in cities and here we have problems when it comes to supplying clean energy. What they are promoting in this kind of project is the development of very innovative pioneer programs towards this energy transition. Transforming the urban environment into a more sustainable place, reducing CO2 emissions and increasing the use of renewable energy sources are among the goals of the My Smart Life EU project that Palencia has implemented as a follower city, replicating what has been done in Nantes, Hamburg and Helsinki. Palencia has launched several initiatives. One of them is about improving lighting in our city. LED lighting is less polluting and reduces CO2 emissions, which is important for us. The reduction of emissions is down 30%, which means 30% less CO2 emissions. Energy savings are at about 50%. The municipality of Palencia has now replaced 57% of its total street lighting network with LED technology. The intensity and duration of the light can be changed according to various parameters. Thanks to a smart lighting application, we can control light point to point. We can program it, plan it in summer or winter depending on the conditions of the vegetation. The location, we can program a type of lighting. For example, during the lockdown we've all suffered. We've been able to reduce lighting by 30% through this smart app. Building and sharing these kinds of interconnected sustainable projects paved the way for future urban strategies, tailor-made to the realities of each city. We now have an obligation to start visualising the city to be the way we want it in 2030, a city where all these projects will be completed and a city that continues to work to be a friendly city where the quality of life is being improved. The implementation and upgrade of these models for the transformation of cities aims to pave the way for the final phase of the mission, to create the momentum for a climate-neutral Europe by 2050. Thank you for following us. You can find more information on the missions of the European Union on the Futurist webpage, on Euronews.com and on our social networks.